Pardon? Hey, trust me. I'm not playing, man. They chose the wrong one. They chose the wrong one, man. I see. I'm Yes, trust me. They chose the wrong one, man. For real. Well, come over. That's what we're doing. You're right for each other. It's a social care for some work, man. No, it's 25 years. 25 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was one of the first black women here? I was born in Washington, D.C. 25 years. 70%. I've been reviewing up the next one. I've been reviewing up the next one. I've been reviewing up the next one. Right. Yeah, it's all like that. Okay. I always used to be like that. And the uh, uh, own board. Okay. Hmm? Do you know the microphone is? Uh, Desmond told me. Is it's it here. Is it hands off? Or? I don't know if it's no, on no, yet. No, it's here. It's here. He's got the batteries for it as well, the backup. That, that's it. Yeah. As you can see, the crowds are gathering in at the masses. We've been here for over an hour now. And I'm on Des Jadu's phone. I'm not showing you. It's going live. People behind me turning my crowd. We have some of the councillors present, the mail here, quite a few press photographers here as well. Yes, my friend, share the video, share the links. If you can't be here, support the team, share the link, you know. You know the story already. Share the, share the link. All right. Everybody share the link. Still broadcast. Okay. Just get rid of it. They keep popping up.
I'm here, I've, I've got Charlie on it. Yes, people. Yvonne. We're going to be starting in 10 minutes' time. But just to let you know, if, you, if the crowd comes round to this side, so you can see what's going on. So if you move from here all the way round, yeah? Move this side. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Keep going, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. That way you'll be able to see what's going on. The road's blocked, so we're safe. Remember your COVID regulations, keep yourself safe. Keep yourself safe. So keep moving around, so you'll be able to get a good, a better look at what's going on. We're starting in the next 10 minutes. Okay, keep moving it round. Keep moving round. If you can see me, you'll be able to see what's going on. Yeah. If you can see me, you'll be able to see what's going on. So keep moving round. Keep moving round. Yeah, this is the front. Okay, can we have the family members? Can we have the family members step towards me, please? The family members step towards me, please. Family members only step towards me. If everyone else could move, take a few steps. Just a few steps back, please. Thank you. The family can understand in front of the table. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Asia Mike Royal. Nice to see you again. Yes, thank you. We've got Reverend Sarah from Church. We've got Reverend Owen Uriah from Perry Beach. If everyone can just take a few steps back. Just a few steps back, please. We've got Mike Royal. Take a few steps back, back, please. Okay, let, let the family members in. Okay. If everyone else, a few more steps back, please. A few more steps back. I will to start very shortly. We're still taking contributions for the family. So please step forward. There's two buckets right here on the table. We've also got water. Change your buckets. Step forward. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Um, 
One, two, one, two, three, four. I'm here, I've got it on. Are you alright? Yeah. Are oh, you trying to get some good shots there? Yeah, I've kind of got everything right from here, so I'm going to try and... Okay. Yeah. Andy, come on. Well, it's about to go live. Um, I say live, it is live. The service is about to start any minute now, so I'm going to flip the camera back around. Okay, one, one, one. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay, we're going to make a start. My name's Charlie Williams. Many of you know I've worked with Desmond for many, many years now. And we're always constantly fighting for the community here in Birmingham and across the West Midlands. So thank you all for being here today for the family. Because we're all one family right now. Black, white and brown, we stand united. So we're about to kick this thing off right now. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Do you know something, if you know me by now, when I say good evening to everybody, I expect a better response than that. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. God bless you and thank you for coming this evening. Anyone who's been following some of the work, we shine a light at 8.30 every evening, every Sunday evening. And this Sunday evening is a special one because we're here to remember and shine a light upon the life of a young man that was tragically taken away from us. And tonight, one thing I'm going to say to you is this. We are people of God and we are better than those who have perpetrated this. Come on now. We are better than those who have perpetrated this. This gathering of tonight must be a gathering of unity and love. It must be a gathering of us coming together. And his mother standing next to me, Joan, that's what she wants. And we must respect 
what she wants. We must be here as a community of godly people to support her on her journey. It's heart-wrenching when your son goes out to play football with his friends and never returns home. She will never see him have children. She will never complain about the state of his school uniform anymore. But we must be here for her. We must be here for her. And we're going to pray tonight. We haven't got an open mic tonight or anything. Because this is a prayer vigil. Because we've got to strengthen her right now. And we've got to make sure that we as a community, when we leave here tonight, in the days, weeks, months and years ahead, we must ensure that we are here to support her. If you agree with me, say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Welcome and please give it up for a colleague and a very good friend, Pastor Owen Uriah from Perry Beaches Baptist Church. Come on. Good evening, everyone. And I'm sorry that we have to gather in such sorry we have to gather in such circumstances, but we're here to support each other and our community. Come, 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 so I just want to sing a little song, and if you know the song, please join with me, and then I will follow up with a small prayer. Amazing grace will always be my song of praise. For it was grace that bought my And I will never know just why Christ came to love me so. He looked beyond my faults and he saw my needs. Come on now. I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary to view the cross where my Jesus died for me. Amazing grace will always be my song of praise, for it was grace that brought my liberty, and I will never know. Just why Christ came to love me so. He looked beyond my faults and he saw my knees. Come on out, people. I shall forever lift my to Calvary to view the cross where my Jesus died for me how marvelous the grace that called my fall
with me as we pray. Father God, we know you hear us when we call. Father God, we know you hear us when we call. And Father, right now this community is hurting again, Father. We ask you, give us wisdom and knowledge and understanding that we can galvanize ourselves together, Father, to be a people that work together, Father, for victory, for healing, O oh God. Father, I bring the family before you, Father. I bring the people before you, Father, because we've all been touched. Again, we've been touched. But I ask you, Lord, bring healing tonight, O oh God. Through this vigil and through this time, Father, I pray, Father, that we can find a place where we find unity together, working together for a common cause and for a common goal. So tonight, Father, we ask you, Father, in this community tonight, we see every different color working together for that which is right. So we pray, Lord, for justice. We pray, Lord, for righteousness. We pray, Lord, that you will have your way and empower your people to stand together in unity as we merge and fight through this difficult time. Father, I bring to you the family. Father, we cannot understand the pain that people have to suffer. We don't understand the pain that this family is going through. But we want them to know tonight, Father, and make it clear that we stand with them, Father, throughout the whole of it, Father. And we will see it through, Father, working behind the scenes and working in front. We pray, Lord, encourage us tonight as a nation together, Father, from many different nations, working together for that which is right. We praise you tonight, Lord. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And everyone, I've been requested to ask you all, will you join me in what we call the Lord's Prayer? We all know it. I know many have forgotten it. But let us do it one more time together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the Lion is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. We're now going to have our reading, and I'm going to ask Patrice to come forward. She's a great friend of the family. I'm going to ask her to come forward and read Psalms 23 for us. Please encourage her. Good night, everyone. I'd just like to say on the behalf of the family, we really appreciate everyone for coming out. And as I'm about to read this song, I just ask that you just put yourself and just keep us in your thoughts. Thank you. My shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me to the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you. Please encourage her. Come on. We're not going to make no bones about this, people. We have a broken society. Yeah? And we're not even going to fix it until we admit we've got a broken society. For far too long, we have been putting small plasters over massive cracks. That day stops now. Amen? That day stops now. Many of you out there criticize and say, what is a church doing? Well, we're here. We've been doing a lot of work. And we're here to stay. And we must stand together in solidarity. Whether or not you believe is immaterial. 
Whether or not you believe is immaterial. What you must understand is this. We stand together, and when we stand together with God at the helm, we stand tall. And today, we are going to stand tall against the elements that are taking our children away from us, our streets, our community, our society. We must stand tall. We are people of God. We must stand tall. We must stand up for what is right. We must never again settle for second best. And, and, the sky racism yeah. we are going to tackle it yes. we are going to have the uncomfortable conversations because God created each and every one of us equally in his image he made some black he made some white he made some in between they say brown but do you know what underneath we are all the same if you need a heart transplant are you bothered if it comes from somebody who is not your color? You need that heart. Amen. When you get cut, you bleed red. It say the whole family bleed blue. But do you know something? I know that I bleed red. Tonight, let this be a beginning. Tonight, let this be the road for change. And I welcome tonight three MPs. I welcome tonight the MP for Eddington, Jack Dromey. I welcome, I welcome the MP for Curry Bar, who covers a piece of King Standing as well, Khalid Mahmoud. And I also welcome tonight the MP for Edgebaston, John's MP, Frank Gill. And I welcome the dialogue. That we are going to have with Jack Jomi and Kali Mamu to once and for all tackle the issues that we have right here in King Standing. Yeah. We're going to use the system that exists to deal with the issues that we have here. And each and every one of us has a role to play. So I don't want to hear you say what the church is doing anymore. I want to ask you what you're doing. Amen. And I'm going to ask you what you're doing. And I'm going to ask these guys what they're doing. And anybody who knows me, no, I'm not trying to ask anybody what they're doing. I've been thrown out of enough buildings. The only place they have never thrown me out of is the house of God. Because I am a child of God. And you cannot throw me out of my own house. And tonight, <laughs> and tonight, we are here to remember a 14-year-old young man. His mom's here next to me. I'm putting my arm around her right now. Let us show the love. Let us show the grace. Let us show the humility. And let us show the unity that we as a community have. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Asian. We all feel her pain. Let us share her pain. But let us share our love with her as well. And let today be the new beginning. So that when we reflect the death of DJ would not have been in vain. His death would have been for purpose. God bless you. I'm now gonna call upon the MP for Everton, Jack Dromey, who's gonna come and read Psalms 133 for us. Tonight, we stand in solidarity with Joan and with her. The funny thing there. Mourning the loss of a son and a brother who died in the most terrible of circumstances, but feet from where I'm standing. Tonight, we also assert an utter determination to unite our community and root out the evil that is racism, which still stalks the streets of our city and our country. What I want to do is to read to you Psalm 133, because it's a message of unity. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, 
even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. As the Jew of Hermon, and as the Jew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Arising out of this terrible tragedy, Desmond's absolutely right. We must come together to fight for a better city, a better country, no longer scarred by the evil that is racism. Thank you, thank you for that. Jack Tolme, the MP for Erdington. Now we're going to enter into a series of prayers tonight. And it's important that we pray. Amen. And I'm going to call upon Bishop Reuben King to come and pray for the loss of D. John and pray for passage into the arms of the Lord. Bishop King, please welcome him. Let us pray. God our Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus on this day where our hearts are heavy and we present to you your dear son. We commit him to your care, Father. We thank you for his life. We thank you for the love that's been shared with him in this very community. We thank you for lending him to us, Lord. His life has been taken early from this earth but we know that no life is lived in vain lord we don't understand some of the things that befall us but we know that you are a god who sees all and knows all you are a god of justice so in you we trust in you we rely we know that your son is safe with you and so, God, we lift up to you this hour, the family who are grieving, whose hearts are broken. You said that you can mend broken hearts. You can bind up those wounds. And so we ask, Lord, that you will continue to be a source of peace, strength, comfort, and help for the family. And we pledge ourselves to pray and support the family in appropriate ways. Because indeed, Lord, they will need that human touch. And we pray that in the, the storm that they find themselves in, they will know and find a way to cling to you, the God who is able to keep them and preserve them. Thank you for this gathering. Let your peace abide and rest in this community and throughout this great city of Birmingham. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We're now going to ask Pastor Val Benjamin, who's going to pray for Joan and the family. Father, in the name of Jesus, the all-powerful name, God, we come to you tonight, Lord Jesus. You said tears are a language that you understand. Oh, Father God, we thank you tonight, Lord Jesus, that though the clay was marred in the potter's hand, you were able to put the pieces back together again. I pray, Lord, you'll give this family tonight a peace which passes all understanding. A peace, Lord God, that no one else can give like you, Lord. I pray tonight that they will say, like William Murphy's word, you are my strength, strength like no other. Oh, thank you, Jesus, the Father God, that they will say, you lift me up like no other. Lift them up, Lord Jesus, from that dark place, from where they are right now, lift them up like no other, Lord. Oh, Father, we thank you that your ears are open and you hear every cry, every word, every utter. And Father, we thank you. We're not coming to ask you. 
you. We are thanking you for what you're about to do. We are thanking you, Lord, that the love that you showed on Calvary will be showed amongst this family tonight, Lord Jesus. I pray, Father God, that they will have a spirit of forgiveness, Lord Jesus, so that they can it can help the healing process. I pray, Lord Jesus, that when they cannot walk, you will carry them, oh Lord, and they will remember the footprints in the sand. Bless each and every one who will, uh, uh, will be with them and comfort them, every member of the family, the uh, Dijon's friends. I pray, God, that they will get wisdom, wise counseling to make the journey. We thank you and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 After our next person prays, we're going to give one minute to Khalid Mahmood. And it, it is one minute. We're going to give one minute to Khalid Mahmood just to encourage. But before Khalid comes, we're going to ask Reverend Sarah Whittleston to come and pray. She's from Elim Church in King Standing. Please welcome her. And she's going to pray for the community of King Standing. I also want to say, I am so sorry that this happened in our community. I'm so sorry that this wasn't a safe place for him. And we are praying with you and for you. And we're praying that this community will do better and be better. So let's pray. I just want to say, if you live in King Standing, let's lift our voices for our community. Let's take responsibility for our community. So God, we say that we are so sorry that this has happened here, that this wasn't a safe space for young people. God, we love young people, and we want this to be a safe place, the streets of King Standing to be a safe space for them. And so God, we ask that you would do what only you could do, and you would bring about a systemic and systematic change in our community. God, we pray for transformation. God, we ask for light into dark places. And we ask for hope into situations that might feel hopeless right now. God, you are the source of hope. And knowing you as our hope can be like an anchor in our lives. And so God, I pray for this community. And I pray that we would do better. And I ask that you would move in power in our community. And that you would bring even more peace. Lord, I pray that each of us as individuals who live here will look to do better. We'll look to work towards bringing about transformation on our streets. And I pray these words from the book of Lamentations over each one of us today. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance, therefore I will hope in him. God, let that be the story of King Standing. Fresh mercies and fresh hope. And Lord, we pray your blessing and your peace and your love upon this family. In Jesus' name, amen. Please now welcome Khalid Mahmood, MP for Periba. Thank you. I am sorry that we're here on such a tragic circumstances and my prayers are with the mother the family the brother and everybody who has suffered hugely through this tragic tragic instance but what i will say very quickly is what desmond said we've got to take ownership of this as a community as well we can't carry on saying other people are going to do something we've got to look at what our responsibilities are the church i worked with for almost 20 years that have been in Parliament. The church has done a huge work to push the communities together. And what we want to do is to ensure that we get the church working together with the community and not let young people be taken away of those who have ill intent. And that's what they do. When they do that, they cause problems and they cause people to be, in this way that has happened today, to be slaughtered by these people. We're going to get our children away from them. And what we're going to do is trust trust in the Lord because that is the only salvation that we have and we all unite together and as Desmond said those that don't want to don't come to the church come and look at how we can unite ourselves. Jack, me and Preet will hold all the officers to account where's the police, where's the local council and including the government who had a huge amount of responsibilities. We'll do all that so praise to the Lord and let's stay united. Thank you.
Thank you, um, Jack. Come on, guys. Come on, we're doing well. Great city of Birmingham, and I'm going to call Andy Mackey. Come on, let's remain focused. We're going to pray for Birmingham. Andy. We're standing here absolutely heartbroken this evening. We're heartbroken for the family. We're heartbroken for our city. And we come to the one who can heal hearts. And uh, it's to him we pray tonight. And let me encourage you as we pray. If you want to pray, can you lift a hand across our city? Lift a hand to the north, to the east, to the west, to the south, down your street, to your neighborhood. And let us just call on God to move in our land. I pray I walked this city last summer. I walked past amnesty bins, the knife amnesty bins in Lazelles and Hansworth and Shard End. And it breaks our heart to see what happens. Lord, will you re-channel the anger and frustration of people from away from weapons and turn our hearts to you, Lord? Will you heal this land? Will you heal this neighborhood? Because you are the Prince of Peace and you are the one we ask to walk our streets, to walk in our homes and to meet us where we are in our pain, in our hurt and heal us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We pray for unity across this city. And we pray for understanding of one another. We pray we would listen to one another's stories, one another's hearts, one another's pains. And you would bring healing. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We pray for this great city of Birmingham. Amen. Thank you, Andy. Now we're going to pray. Last year, following the death of George Floyd, we started having the difficult conversation between the churches, and particularly the Anglican Church and the White Run Churches and the Black Run Churches. And the man who prophetically got that vision and he's been driving that vision is with us today, and he's going to pray for this unit, this community, and importantly, race equality that we need desperately in our city. Please welcome Pastor Calvin Young. Great. Good evening, everyone. I'm so excited to see so many people here standing with uh, family that are suffering and hurting. Since last May, I really felt that the church needed to step up because there is only one human race. We all came from Adam. Jesus came and he broke down the middle wall of partition between Jews and Gentiles, black and white, male and female. And he's made us all one. And I believe that within our city, our nation, we have been living in sin because we are living in disunity. Black church having church on their own, white church having church on their own, Asian church having church on their own. And we are fighting an enemy that is not physical, it's spiritual. And we need to understand the nature of the battle. We need to win that battle for ourselves, for our young people, for everyone within our community. And so while I believe God loves our diversity, created us in the different cultures and colors that he's created us in, yet there should be one heart, one mind, one faith. Amen. We may have different versions and diversities and so on, but we must come together to pray, not just when there's an incident in our community. 
but that unity should be there right throughout the month, throughout the year, where churches, black, white, Asian, coming together, praying together, setting up an agenda that will pull together and work out the plans and purposes of God to bring healing in our community. And that is our heart. So I ask all the clergymen to join with us in that battle. We have some of the strongest leaders within our city who have signed up to that. And we need everyone to sign up to Time for Change. So again, let's raise our hands and we're going to pray for equality and justice. Come on, right where you are, pray. Come on, lift your voice, pray, pray, pray. Father, we pray that you will help us to be one to join our hearts together, to break down every barrier, every denominational barrier, to come together as black and white and Asian and whatever cultural background we come from. We pray you will break that spirit of division down in the name of Jesus and cause us to stand as one man within our community, within our city. In the name of Jesus, we come against every stronghold that seeks to divide us and to separate us, my God, and to keep us down. We bind that spirit in the name of Jesus and we command the spirit of unity to fall upon our churches, fall upon our community, fall upon our young people. I pray you give them hope. I pray my God they will know that you love them, you care about them and you want the very best for them. So come to our young people we pray. Give them hope at this time. Let them know the strength of God, the comfort of God, the peace of God, the passes all understanding. Keep their hearts, keep their minds in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Come on, let's praise God tonight. Come on, let's praise God tonight, people. If you want a revival tonight, you can have it. Amen. We're going to call the MP for Edgebaston and I'm going to ask Bishop McCalla, who's over there, to step forward because he's next on our list to pray. So if you can just let Bishop McCalla come through, please, that would be wonderful. Please welcome the MP for Edgebaston, Preet Gill. Thank you so much. I just want to say that I, I, I pray for you, Joan, and for you, Kurt, because you have, in the short time I've met you, you are such a strong woman. But I'm here as a mother. No mother should have to go through what you've had to go through. It is any parent's worst nightmare. And today I am here, as every parent here, as every single person that's come out, is to join with you and to be your strength, but actually to be a voice together. Because actually it's down to us if we want to bring about change. If we want to say no to knives, it's almost that we've accepted that this is the status quo. No, it is not. T. John did not lose his life for nothing. If we want to bring change and leave a legacy in his name, we have got to be that change and we've got to be a strong voice for this city. And I definitely want to join Joan and Kirk and all of you here and Desmond, I want to thank you so much for unifying us. We are all here from all faiths and all backgrounds from all parts of our city together with you. Not just now, not just tomorrow, for as long as it takes, I can assure you I will be there for you for whenever you need. I know it's difficult. But you have shown us so much strength. Just looking at you gives, gives us so much strength. So I pray for you. Thank you. Let us pray for unity at this time. Father, we thank you that you are God who sees and knows all things. We thank you that you are with us, Lord God, and you can see even the things that are invisible to us. You see and know all things. Nothing is hid from you, Lord. And so as we come tonight, Lord, we thank you for all those who have come tonight together in a sign of unity. We pray that your Holy Spirit will just draw us together. Lord, you pray, Lord Jesus, that, that we may be one even as you and your Father are one. 
And so tonight we pray that the unity that exists among you, Lord God, will be with us, O oh God, that we will draw near, Lord God, and that we will not wait until something happens, Lord, but we pray that the love and the unity that should exist among the human race, brothers and sisters, families, communities, churches, oh God, various religions, I pray that you may bring us together, that the peace of God which passes all understanding will keep our hearts and minds Lord God, that we will not see this kind of uh, inhumanity to one another, but we'll see the love of God, the love that brought you down, the love that caused you to die on the cross may bring us together, that together, Lord, we may love and care for each other and support each other and stand together against all the foes, all the enemies that stands against us. And so, Lord, we look to you tonight and we trust you, God. Our, oh God, our hope is in you. Our confidence is in you. You are our strength like no other. Be with us. Stand with us. Overshadow us and lead us. We pray, oh God, for the peace that passes all understanding. Lord God, to be in our community. Lord God, to come against all the evil and the division and the racism that is in our community. Be with us tonight, we pray. We commend everything to you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Bishop McCalla. We're now going to pray for the scourge on our streets. The blood that has been spilt on our streets. The violence that is on our streets. And after Bishop Michael plays, I'm going to hand over to Reverend Dathan Dennis, who is going to come speak to the young people. We're going to have a minute silence. And can we get ready with the balloons as well at that point? Okay. Michael, please welcome him. Thank you. I want you to, if you have one, to take out your phone and to, to light a light and just to lift it up. Maybe you've got a candle, maybe you've got a, a cigarette lighter, I don't know. But I want you to lift it up at this moment as a sign that you're saying, I am going to be the change. I am going to be the one that makes a difference. I am going to be the one that de-escalates and doesn't escalate. If that's you tonight, I want you in this moment to light a light. And let's just begin to wave those lights around as a prophetic declaration across our city that enough is enough. That we are committed to be people of peace people of love and people of justice. Father God, I pray for every life here. I thank you for them. I thank you for when you look at them, you see yourself in them. And I pray God that we will see the image of God in one another. I pray God tonight that we would understand the sanctity of human life. I pray that we would understand the great love you have for each one of us. And I pray God that we will commit to be non-violent, to be anti-violent, to be able to de-escalate when things would escalate. I pray God that knives would be put down tonight. I pray God that people would take their knives and they would take them to a knife bin and they would place it in a knife bin tonight. I pray those who've got guns will take their guns and they will take them to the knife bin and they will place them in the knife bin. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for peace across King Standing, across our great city and this nation. In the name of Jesus and all God's people said, Amen. Let's give a clap. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Let's say amen again. Please welcome Reverend David Nathan Dennis. One, two. Young people. I want to do something crazy. Can we have silence? Every young male who's under the age of 21, come forward. 
Come forward. Every young male, pass the message back. Just go backwards and pass the message. Every young male under the age of 21, come forward. Everyone say, come forward. I say, everyone say, come forward. Every young male under the age of 21, come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Adults, if you can just take a step back, we want some young people to come forward. Listen. Listen. All the young males, I want to hold your fist up in the air right now. Right hand up in the air now. And I want you to know that all of you are lions. All of you are kings. I want you to start to say this. My life matters. 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 I want all the adults to start to just point people and tell them your life matters. Just find a young person next to you and say your life matters. 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 Thank you. Yes, yes, Mommy, yes, Mom, 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 I'm saying this now. Everyone can have silence, please. Silence. Just, just stand back. Just look your head back and say, shh, 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 shh. Listen. Your son's death cannot be in vain. Young men that are here and can hear my voice and the young people, we're tired of this. We want change. We want you to know that you're born for a God-given purpose. You're not here by accident. And we want no more moms to be crying tears. Yeah? So we say we're ending violence in this city. We're announcing that change is here today. Everyone say, change is here today. Because listen, Respect to all the leaders, I'm, I'm, I'm glad there's video cameras here, because here what, I'm going to keep it so real, to the MPs, to the pastors and leaders here, I love you with all my heart, but this ain't good enough, we can't just come out, right, and show people the community our faces after this death, we have to be full time for this community to show them the love of God every day, not just in tragedy. So I'm saying, for every person from every faith and walk of life, we are one people. And God is not going to use this time for just by accident. I believe that this can be a change for our city, but we have to stay committed, we have to stay united, and we have to stay focused, yeah? No more separation. I want everyone to say, no more separation. No more violence. No more pain. No more love. What we're going to do now, we're going to get ready to release the balloons, but we're going to have a minute silence just before we do that. Okay, don't release them yet. Okay, so we're going to have a minute silence. So if someone's talking next to you, just nudge them and say, we're getting ready to do a minute silence. Minute silence starting now. Thank you, everyone. Dear God, as we are all standing here together, from all nations and tribes, 
Lord, we are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And we just don't want to just pray, just to pray. But we're asking God, will you send change to this city? Lord, will you save the lives of our young people? Would you give the MPs, the ministers, the leaders, the business people, the local community, the wisdom, the strategies, the opportunities so that we can help our young people to flourish in our region? Lord, I pray that youth service will be restored in this city, that the right resources will come to this city, that job opportunities will come to this city, that young people will start phenomenal businesses and transform their life. Lord, I pray that every young person in this environment, as they go to sleep tonight, will have a witty idea that they can create a new life for themselves. Lord, I believe that you are able to do that. I thank you for everyone here. I thank you for this moment, even though it's a very sad moment, God. And God, we are just heartbroken that we have to be here again. But we're believing and standing in faith that you knew that this moment will happen and that you have a plan for this. And you said, Lord, that in these hard times, Lord, if we trusted in you with all our heart, and lent not on our own understanding, but acknowledged you in all our ways that you would direct our path. So I'm just praying God in this moment that you'll cover us all and protect us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're going to get ready now to release the balloons. Everyone, this is a good time, even though I can see cameras all over the place. But now is a good time to have the cameras. Okay? Can you say something? Okay. So, we're going to do a countdown. Okay? And I want everyone to capture this. And this is just a, a beautiful moment for us to just do this together. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go, make some noise! We need to wake up the spirit of Dejan right now. Say his name! Okay, we're at that time now where we're going to wrap up. But last year we were taking one knee. This year we need to stand tall. In the fight against racism, what are we going to do? We're going to stand tall. Come on. You're going to say it like you believe it. Because if you don't believe it, it will never happen. In the fight against racism, what are we going to do? We don't want no passageway, no longer, to a jail cell. What are we going to do? In the challenges that we face of poverty, what are we going to do? Are we going to stand in unity? Are you standing in unity from tonight? Let us stand together. Let us stand tall. And let us stand in unity with one another. God bless you and thank you for coming this evening. What we're going to do, we're just going to have a closing prayer. And many of you have said, boy, a lot of prayers have been said tonight. But trust me, tomorrow there's going to be a lot of action. Tomorrow there's going to be a lot of action. What is going to happen tomorrow and the days, weeks and months ahead?
Yeah. 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 Okay. What are you going to do? Action. What are you going to do? Action. You, you've forgotten already. Tomorrow you must remember this. The day after you must remember this. Just say to your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. We're standing tall together. Say neighbor. We're going to fight racism together. Are you shocked? Say neighbor. We're going to fight knife crime together. We're going to say neighbor. D. John's, D. John's life matters. Matters, yes. Say neighbor. D. John's mother, mother's life matters. And say to your neighbor, neighbor, we matter. Say neighbor, we matter. Say neighbor, we matter. We're going to close in prayer this evening. And I'm just going to ask Reverend Nathan, where are you? There you are. Come forward, he's from the rock. He's going to close us in prayer. And then after that, I'll close with a benediction. So, Father God, we thank you for this day. Although it's tinged with sadness, our hearts are broken. We thank you still that you are with us and you are the comforter. So we pray, God, that you will continue to comfort this community. Firstly, comfort Dejan's family in the name of Jesus. And comfort this city of Birmingham. Bring your presence, bring your holy, blessed spirit to ignite our lives into action and let us be mobilized against all of the scourges of racism, of poverty and exclusions in education. In the name of Jesus, we solidify all of our prayers today and we lift up our faith to you knowing that whatsoever we ask in your name that surely you will do it. All of our heartfelt cries, they rise to the heavens right now and we ask you to hear them and to be mobilized on our behalf. We ask that the holy angels will surround Dijon's family right now in the name of Jesus and lift them up lest they dash their foot against the stone. We pray, Lord God, that as we leave from here, we would leave in peace, we would leave in faith, we would leave with hope, and we would leave with love in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you now. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you this evening. And on behalf of Joan D. John's mom and the rest of the family, we want to thank you for coming out and sharing the love. I want you now to turn on your lights, hold up your candles, as we're going to pronounce the benediction. Lift up your lights, people, come on. Lift up your lights. And remember, we've got water here if anyone needs any. And also as well, we've got the buckets here if you want to leave an offering to help the family. We encourage you to do so. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. As the church says, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Go in peace. God be with you. And thank you for coming. Please give yourselves a round of applause. You've been wonderful tonight. And young people, you got school tomorrow. Bishop said you've got school tomorrow, so go straight home. God bless you all.
made the change for me, doing it on Desmond Jadu's camera as opposed to my own. Um, Trevor? Yeah. Heartwarming and sad, very much tinged with sadness. Um, the whole community. It looks like the whole of Birmingham has come out for this one, isn't it? And so it should be, you know. Community at times like this must stand for him, you know. But we don't really want to see something like this happen ever again. But the road just started it because it's all about justice, you know. Yeah. So there's a whole big up days and all everybody who roll out today, you know, it counts yeah. man, you know. Serious yeah. time. Oh, the ones are here. Huh? The other ones are here. Yeah, that's okay. 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 Not that one there. So, so yes, yeah, so that was me so on Desmond Jadu's page, alright? Desmond. Right. Oh, yeah. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. It's been a great night in the Lord. We've shone a light. We've shone a light of love. And thank you very much, each and every one. And you know what? Tonight's been wonderful. It's been great. Everyone's come out. It's been a night of peace. And one thing I'll say to you perpetrators out there, these are people of God. And no weapon formed against people of God shall prosper. And we're going to win this battle. No, we're going to win it. God bless you. On that note, what was he saying? Stand tall. Stand tall. Yes. And we're not taking one knee anymore. We're standing tall. And from tomorrow, there's going to be a lot of action. Okay. All right. The fight is real. Thank you. Everyone for the God bless you all and thank you.